In the previous video, we had an example of people in rooms. We called people A, B and C, and we called rooms 1, 2, 3 and 4. Using that example, we illustrated what is a function and also what isn't a function. The particular function that we looked at associated to each person the room they were in. However, functions in general don't have to have some inspiration in the physical world. So, now we'll just look at the two sets and functions from one set to another. Here we have that same function, but that is not the only function from the set of A, B and C to the set of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here are some other examples. Note that in all cases, to each element of the first set is assigned exactly one element of the second set. The first set is called the domain, while the second set is called the codomain of a function. So these four functions have the same domains and the same codomains. Now we'll focus on the two functions on the top. Let's call this function f and this function g. Both f and g are functions from the set of a, b and c to the set of 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here is one way to write that. f colon the domain an arrow and the codomain and the same way for g. Now f maps a to 2, b to 3, and c to 2, while g maps a to 1, b to 2, and c to 4. Note that when you write for elements, we use an arrow that has a bar at the tail. This is called the arrow notation. However, we'll usually use what is called the functional notation. So, instead of saying that f maps a to 2, we'll say that f of a is equal to 2. Likewise, f of b is equal to 3, and f of c is equal to 2. And similarly for g. For both f and g, the domain is the set of a, b and c, while the codomain is the set of 1, 2, 3 and 4. But domains and codomains can be other sets. We can even have the same sets with reversed roles. Here is an example of that. If we call this function h, then h is a function from the set of 1, 2, 3 and 4, to the set of a, b and c. And since h is a function, it associates to each element of its domain exactly one element of its codomain. In this case, h of 1 is equal to a, h of 2 is equal to c, h of 3 is equal to a, and h of 4 is equal to a. So, these are just some examples of functions, and their domains and codomains had a relatively small number of elements. But domains and codomains can also have an infinite number of elements, which we'll see in the upcoming videos. That is all for this video, if you liked it, click the like button, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.